Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and let me go ahead and preface this uh, by saying this is pretty much a rush job. I had just gotten through, uh, I just gotten through uploading another, uh, another video, it took, hang on, let me back up a bit. I had just gotten through uploading another video, and so it ended right about the time that I normally start my, uh, I start working on my cast video, so I didn't really have much of a break in between the two, so... There's gonna probably gonna be some goofs here and there, and chances are this might also be a fairly short one as well. Like I said, I didn't really have time to prepare anything. So, anyway, for the uh, music, this is gonna be um, one of my favorite YouTube channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Their specialty is dark ambient music. Um, this one's called Strangers to Reason, and these guys are well known for this. They have they have some goofy as hell images. And then some, uh, and then some, some titles that are also pretty, kind of out of whack too, like, like surreal or they don't make sense or you get the idea. But anyway, let me go ahead and rewind this back. Okay. So anyway, um, oh, one big thing. One of my uh, one of my cast videos, um, I got a takedown notice, so it was on that uh, it was the train, it was a uh, this cab view of a train going along the tracks during winter. Yeah, I got a, uh, I got a takedown notice for that. You know, I, this wasn't like Cardi B's latest video or anything like that. It just kind of ticks me off when this happens. You know, because like I said, this isn't. I'm not re-uploading the games awards or anything like that or anything that's really trending right now no it's a fucking train going down the tracks yeah i gotta take down notice for that so but anyway it's also like i've been saying whenever this happens if you guys like or if you guys like what you're seeing and hearing then i highly recommend you guys download download this video because who knows how long it's going to be up I mean, again, this, the aforementioned takedown notice was a prime example of that. Put it up, and like, a few days later, now I gotta take it down. And, and again, this isn't, this isn't just something that a bot picked up. You know, the YouTube's content ID system, yeah, it, it's bot detection, is what it is, or, it's a, it's a bot used to detect stuff. I, there was an there was a actual phrase for it. I can't remember what it was. Like I said, I'm, this is kind of a rush job, so... Um, but yeah, like I said, it, I actually got an email for this. So, like, again, again, this was the, the content owner. Somehow she saw it. Somehow she found it, and then for some reason didn't like it. I don't know why. I there there can be a whole multitude of reasons. Maybe maybe just because I was using it, period. So anyway. Again, if you like any of these cast videos, I recommend you download them. Because they may not be up after a while. Or they may not be up for long. So um but Otherwise, um, for the most part, just lays around. I mean, pretty, pretty brutal week at work. I mean, my whole lower back's pretty tore up. Um, my upper back's there as well, or my upper my upper back is getting there as well. And just basically exhausted. Uh, so just did some lazing around. Um, I did a. Uh, I did try uh, playing a little bit of pinball, but yeah, it wasn't happening. I was just total ass. So, pretty frustrating. Um, I, I kind of did okay on the uh, white water table. Did okay there, but pretty much sucked at all the others. Um, I managed to... I managed to stay afloat when playing Pinball FX3. There's a, they have kind of a league system. You're not, 
it's called matchup where you're not trying to beat a high score you're trying to beat an opponent an actual person's high score you have like three choices easy medium hard i always go after the hard especially when the uh, especially when the three different high scores are roughly the same models are shoot for the fences so i barely got out of a I got out of red on that one. Also, the way matchups work is if you don't get a high enough ranking in one week, you drop down a league. I'm uh, I'm one league above rock bottom. And I'm, I'm trying to maintain that place. But again, with my uh, with my ass shooting, you know, just making bad shots, bad mistakes and whatnot, it's just I'm basically treading water. So. And that's, yeah, and that, I, in case I didn't say it, it's both uh, FX3 and Arcade. I was only on maybe like 15, 30 minutes, so not really enough to make a recording out of. I'm still wondering what the hell that is. Looks like a, I'm thinking a cross between the thing and um, Iron or Iron Giant. It still looks pretty cool though. But you know, like I said, this is this is one of the reasons why Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse is one of my favorite YouTube channels. They come out with images that are like well and truly out there. You know, they're not just going with. I think there's one image that he did. It was it was a tired old Lovecraftian theme, but usually. I mean, H.P. Lovecraft was all about fear, you know, scary images. But then, but when you when you see any kind of Lovecraftian anything out there, they're they're all tentacles. They're all it's all aquatic tentacle stuff. Oh, this is Lovecraft. Oh, look at the tentacles. Yeah, that's Lovecraftian. Nothing scary about it. So, but yeah, not but yeah, not this guy. I mean. Each image more fucked up than the next, or each one, each image more fucked up than the last. Now, musically, it's it's hit or, it's hit or miss. A lot of times, it's miss. He's got a he's got a few zingers out there, but most of it just sounds like this, you know, that kind of thing. It could also be that I don't have this turned up from my end. There we go. <coughs> oh, yeah, that too. Um, so, my, um, Gems of War went okay. The stream went all right. Uh, but towards the end, I started having technical problems. My uh, my Twitch app just started messing up. Um, it would lose lose chat connection and stuff. But luckily, it happened at a time when um when nobody was on. So and plus around that time, I I was starting to doze off. And also during that time, I realized that my cell phone was dipping below the 50% charge mark. So I don't like letting my cell phone get that low. So yeah, I, I did a off stream though. I did a whole bunch of PvP because up until recently, it was like just mini games. You know, so not really having much time for PvP or even some dailies. So after, off stream, I just got all those taken care of, and then um, I don't think there's any special events going on tomorrow, so it's probably gonna be more of the same. And um, and I also hang on, um, I got to do something here. Yeah, sorry about this. Like I said, my brain kind of parted.
But yeah, um, I also tried getting into, tried playing Final Fantasy XIV again. It wasn't happening. And um, this time I tried it at night when presumably there was nobody, nobody on. Um, the queue was shorter, but you're still gonna have to wait forever a day to get in, though. So, so, no way, Jose, on that. And then one other thing I did, and it was the reason why uh, why I'm kind of rushing through this cast, is uh, I watched uh, I watched a video by uh, a YouTube channel Second Thought, but uh, they uh, one of their videos I saw towards the end of it, he actually posted links for a couple of these uh, political political tests. I took one of them, uh, Eight Values. Pretty good test actually. Although I'm, I'm more of the kind of person when it comes to, when it comes to uh, political definitions, I go by the dictionary, not by what everybody else says, because everybody's gonna have different opinions on what, what socialism is. You know, these guys say socialism is evil, and then you got these guys over here, socialism is love, socialism is life. You know, you, you know, you know that kind of thing. So I go. You know, I go with the, uh, the hard concrete truth, for lack of a better word. You know, I go by the dictionary. But the spirit is there, though. You know, so it was, it was pretty much a test I was kind of proud of. I was proud of the results. But like, like, I, like I said, I, <clears throat> I usually look at dictionary definitions for stuff, especially uh, socialism. If you saw that, you wouldn't... Eh, not such a great system. So, but like, like I said... You, you know, it could, all, it could also be, too, that, uh, like the old saying goes, history is written by the victors. You know, we came, you know, our, fa our forefathers came to this country, ran the Indians out, you know, and then started importing slaves from Africa, and I think they did the same thing with the Mexicans, etc. So, like I said, history is written by the victors. So, chances are, you know, maybe there was another definition of socialism out there somewhere. That I don't that I don't know about, but like I said, all I have to go by is the, you know, the Webster Dictionary version. So, but again, to kind of, you know, kind of little recap, you know, proud of the results, but the again the the word the words like socialism, I haven't looked up a uh, libertarian. I, if I can remember to, I'll probably do that after this cast. But like I said, if you looked at the diction, if you read the dictionary in these. You would probably you would you you'd probably be with me in Anne Rand's definition. Capitalism is actually the best system. It's the most conducive to freedom. But again, we're looking at a dictionary definition. So, but again, I'm. I could probably I could probably spend all day talking about stuff like that, and time doesn't. And I really want to go on to do other stuff, like actually relax. So, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everyone, and see you all next time.